I think as athletes we do a good job compartmentalizing. You know, when I'm with the Lynx, it's full 100% Lynx, and then when I'm Team Canada, it's full 100% Team Canada, and I know my role um, on both teams. Um, so it's natural. I think I've done it long enough where I know how to switch roles. Um, but again, staying aggressive, staying my confident self, that always stays the same. A lot of my preparation comes from being in the WNBA season. Being able to play games against the best in the world every single night in the WNBA is incredible preparation going into the Olympics because it um, gives you a kind of viewpoints of like where you need to be and how offensively and defensively you can be better. And so for me, it's been really fun to be in LA and have that opportunity to play these games, knowing that everything I do now is going to help head it into Paris. I always get excited for game day um, because it's an opportunity to maybe, if you didn't have such a great game last game, an opportunity to come back and play better. My warm-ups, since I've gotten older and have come off of injury, have become much more intentional. And a lot of what I do is kind of activation and mobility and the ability to come in there and understand what parts of my body oftentimes need to be you know, take it a little bit more care of or activate it a little bit more when it comes with kind of a knee injury. A lot of it's kind of everything around your knee, your hamstring, your quads, your calves. Um, and so we are very intentional about the things that we hit in pregame warm-up. It's a long warm-up and it's okay. It's a, a pretty hard one. It's almost like you gotta get a sweat and get your, your core temperature up. Um, but a lot of it is just being able to make sure that I'm mobile on the court and ready to go, confident in my movement. Yeah, it's very unique, all of us kind of in different parts of our careers, different parts of the world, um, and then having to come together to play in some really big tournaments. We have a group chat that uh, stays strong throughout the year, and anytime we're together, um, it's like no time has passed. Um, there's a connection with our Team Canada squad that um, is undeniable, and it's easy every time we get back together. No, we often talk about the connection in Canada is bigger than just the basketball and on the court. And so even though Bridget and Kia aren't always with us in these camps, they are felt, their presence is felt. And whether that's from sending memes in a group chat, that connection is, is deeper and it's bigger than the five games or whatever it is that we're playing together. It's continual year round. It's truly friendships that we've built. Excited to see Bridget out there. Um, we typically guard each other, but I've slid to the two a little bit more this year, so it might be, have to be a cross-match situation. Excited to play against a familiar face in Kia. Um, probably have to guard her, uh, but I'm excited. It's always fun to play against someone you know so well on and off the court. When I think about the evolution of Canada basketball and how we've gotten to where we are, it was the challenge of being better individually, playing in the best leagues, playing in the most competitive leagues, and that's what you're doing. Bridget and Kia playing the WNBA, getting better individually, makes our pool better. And so for them to be able to compete in the best league in the world, one of the strongest leagues, and then come back and bring that skill development, bring that leadership, bring that pro mindset to our group, they're gonna help on so many levels. Whether that's energy, whether that's scoring, whatever it is, we know that they're gonna bring their best when they come and put that Canada jersey on. I think the expectations for Canada at the Olympics to stay the same, get on that podium. And we fell short of that and we know that and I think that's stuck with the, the ones that have been in that situation before. It's not an easy task uh, by any means, but for us, getting on the podium I think is where we, we deserve to be because we have the talent, we have the work ethic, we've got the coaching staff. That's what we're going to strive for, that's the goal.